Welcome to your todaystocks.com news update. I'm Natalie Stoberman. Let's dive into what's been making public companies tick this week. New Zealand's Chatham Rock has announced a collaboration with the Australian Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization to evaluate the potential for a rare earths recovery at the Corella Mine located in Australia. Chatham Rock says that phosphate from two Corella sites are enriched with rare earth elements and the CSRIO will be using biomining technology to study the potential to extract rare earth elements. Skylight Health has released highlights of the first quarter in a conference call with shareholders. The May 17th call discussed the potential for strong revenue growth of 255% year over year, thanks to the neighbor MD acquisition and joint venture with Collaborative Health Systems. The call also highlights a reduced journey to three to five years to Medicare Advantage status, as well as over $70 million in revenue run rate on a pre-forma basis from the acquisition before any revenue synergies of new contracts within current practices. Grey Cliff Exploration has released a batch of assay results from its latest drilling program. The Shakespeare Gold Project on the Canadian Shield continues to show results of strong gold mineralization, and the Sudbury, Ontario location has been drilling as deep as 5 meters and still intersecting over 6 grams per tonne of gold minerals. Toronto-based Madison Metals has announced a new partnership with Prime Morris Group for Media and Investor Relations Services to go along with being listed in the Canadian Stock Exchange as of May 13th under the ticker GREN. The Green Energy Resource Company will take on this partnership as it continues its expertise in uranium mining and to advance Rossing type deposits throughout Canada and Namibia with cutting edge technology and strategies. Gold Royalty Corp is hosting a town hall meeting for its record quarterly revenues and portfolio updates. Gold Royalty says that its second fiscal quarter of 2022 has included several meaningful catalysts, including exploration and development advancements from key assets and the acquisition of royalties over the Cote Gold project. The town hall meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, May 25th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Manning Ventures has announced that their Bounty Lithium property exploration begins soon. The 7,500 hectare property was initially staked by Manning Ventures because of its prospective nature for lithium mineralization. And now the company says it plans to kick off its exploration project in the James Bay Lithium District in northern Quebec around May 20th. C3 Metals has announced that deep core drilling in southern Peru has made a new discovery. The Jasperoid project has intersected a hydrothermal alteration system beneath the Montaña de Cobre zone, and C3 Metals says that discovery is indicative of a classic porphyry model, which is a rock made up of dark red or purple crystals around ground mass. And lastly, Olive Resource Capital has acquired a $2.5 million portfolio of assets. The investment company made the agreement with Canna Income Fund Corporation, the portfolio includes a combination of public equities. Olive Resource says that this is the first step in its strategy to expand its asset base. That wraps up this week's todaystocks.com news update. This is not financial advice, but do tune in with us on our website todaystocks.com to watch more weekly updates and in-depth interviews with public companies. Thanks for watching and see you next time.